and a new spot. There's been so much to talk about. But let's start with the ABC. Today, put out a statement blasting the left-wing clickbait arm of the Murdoch newspapers in Australia, news.com.au, for reporting on the filthy trolling of an ABC presenter, Lisa Miller, after one ABC camera angle accidentally let viewers see up a skirt. Now, the ABC was, said it was appalling that news.com.au was magnifying the online bullying of Lisa Miller, with many on the left, for some bizarre reason, think it's a conservative, and they tend to pile on. But there are two things about that. Now, it's true. Um, I probably wouldn't have run that story because we should not let online trolls, the most vicious and cowardly of people, a, a pimple on our culture, determine the news agenda of organisations like ours. That's, that's me. But that said, news.com.au was at least condemning them and reporting on something that was running wild on the social media. But the other thing about this is that the same kind of story, but worse, had been done the same before by The Guardian Australia, much worse, without the ABC condemning, condemning it, not at the time. And at first, The Guardian Australia actually ran a picture of Miller and her skirt and repeated some of the online abuse. But only later today did the ABC add the Daily Mail to its uh, condemnation of news.com.au, which is a Murdoch empire, so that obviously figured most in its uh, agenda. Joining me is uh, Sophie Ellsworth, media writer for the Australian newspaper. Sophie, thank you so much for your time. Great to see you. Now, uh, this, uh, the ABC did modify its statement. It attacked news.com at first, saying this statement, uh, and then said this statement was updated on 7 March 2023 to reflect that the Daily Mail in Australia has also published a very similar story. That's unfair, because I don't think these stories were very similar. Well, Andrew, can I just point out to people so they're totally clear, there was a Daily Mail story that ran yesterday. It was very high up on the website about Lisa Miller that was prominent. It ran for hours on end and it showed a photo of Lisa, uh, which I thought was completely inappropriate, where you could see Vision looking up her skirt. And then today, News.com has Daily gone to... Story, yeah. Daily Mail story, that's right. Then today, News.com has gone to the ABC to ask them about this Twitter abuse. Uh, now, the ABC statement that came out, um, you know, really bagging the media outlets for doing this really went for news.com. But hang on a minute. Daily Mail had this on yesterday for hours on end. They ran some of the Twitter trolls' comments, which I couldn't see in the news.com article. No. So I thought this was a real go at news.com. The photo and the abuse. Exactly. But I will say, I don't think the editors should have run this story. I think, Andrew, where are we getting in the media landscape where we're giving trolls a platform? And we're magnifying their power. Look, I, I get the ABC being upset, but, you know, the context is news.com.au was then by then running a commentary on what was already in the Daily Mail and already online. Mm -hmm. and, and so I wouldn't have done it, but I'm just mm -hmm. saying that it makes it a little more line ball. I, I, I thought the ABC was wrong to bracket the two publications. It was wrong.